Welcome back for the second Element Controls video. Element Controls are used to modify elements between template points. You'll find the Element Controls group here on the ribbon. In this video, we'll demonstrate three element controls that apply to arcs. Set Radius, Set Tangent, and Arc Fillet. Point controls let you set the position for each endpoint of an arc. After Templates moves endpoints, it normally replaces an arc with a geosim of the original. The geosim sets the offset for the arc so that it's geometrically similar to the original arc. For these spa cover patterns, a geosim is exactly what the pattern requires. When a geosim is not the right element, the Set Radius tool lets you set the radius for the arc instead of using the default scaled arc. We'll use a lampshade pattern to illustrate. It's mathematically easy to unwrap the pattern for a lampshade given any height, base diameter, and top diameter. But in order to create the right shape, you can see from the diagram that we'll need to set two radiuses to their calculated values, R1 and R2. In this template, we've prepared a base pattern of a cone for a lampshade. We'll rotate our diagram to match the template to make it more clear. We haven't yet set either R1 or R2, so when we apply variables, the arcs will be geosims, not the correct radiuses for this cone pattern. We'll get the Set Radius tool. In the tool window, we'll select R1 as the parameter we want to link to this control. When we mouse over the first arc, it lights up. We'll click to set its radius to R1. We'll do the same for R2. Get the tool. Select R2 as the parameter we want from the tool window drop-down, and then click on the larger arc to set it to R2. Now, when we apply variables, both arcs will have the correct radius. You'll often need to hold an arc tangent to align in your patterns. The Set Tangent tool makes this easy. Here's a typical pattern containing a line that blends into an arc. The Set Tangent tool lets you hold one end of an arc tangent to its neighbor. When you need to be tangent at both ends of the arc, you'll use the Arc Fillet tool. With the Set Tangent tool, click on the arc to select it. Now, click on the neighbor element you want to hold the arc tangent to. You'll see this symbol at the end of the arc that will stay tangent. When we apply variables, all the template points will move to their final positions and this arc will adjust its radius so that it's tangent at the specified end. For demonstration purposes, we set one of these patterns to be tangent but not the other. You can see the difference. When you're creating a template pattern, it's usually easier to add arc fillets in templates instead of adding them in Patternsmith. This will give you fewer points to control and that will result in simpler expressions. We'll use a simple cushion pattern to illustrate. We want to place fillets in all four corners. We'll start by adding a variable called radius and setting its value to 2 inches. Now we can select the arc fillet tool. In the tool window, we'll link it to the variable radius. When we mouse over a corner where we want the fillet, you'll see the corner point and both legs light up. Now click on the corner to place a fillet there. We'll do the same for the other three corners. Get the tool, select the parameter, and click on the corner. And now our patterns have fillets in each corner. In the next video, we'll look at element controls that you can use to set the cutting or marking tool.